Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Flutter News. Today I would like to present you the Flutter Day and Hack 20, the Flutter Package Ecosystem Update, the Adobe XD support for Flutter, the new Surface Door SDK, and last but not least, the package and Flutter Pen of the week. So without further ado, let's get started. Save the date for Flutter Day on 25th of June. Flutter team organized a worldwide gathering with Flutter developers on 25th of June from 9 a.m. Pacific time for 24 hours. They will offer a bunch of amazing things on this day. Whether you are a Flutter newbie or a Flutter professional, everyone can find something on this event. They will offer different code labs with 24 hours support the channel to answer all your Flutter questions. There are video streams and recap the new feature in Flutter and Dart and much more. So guys, don't miss this great opportunity and register for this event. You can find the registration links in the video description below. Flutter Hack 20 on 27th and 28th of June, on the weekend right after Flutter Day, the online international Flutter Hackathon will start. Everyone can participate on the Hack 20 and win prizes for the best app and featuring mentors from the Flutter community. So guys, don't miss also this opportunity and register for this event. You can find the link in the video description below. Flutter package ecosystem update. To make the Flutter packages more reliable, we have a couple of numbers and metrics and for each package on pop.dev. These numbers are indicators for the quality and popularity of each packages in the Flutter ecosystem. We have additionally a verified publisher shield, which means that the publisher has been verified. The highest honor that one package can get is the Flutter favorite batch. Because of the high expectation and high bars, we won't see so many packages that has this batch. But yesterday, Chris Sell, a Google product manager, announced that the list with their favorite batch has grown to include more packages such as Block, Flutterblock, Sign in with Apple, Geolocator, Location, Google Fonts, and the Convex button bar. Important note here is that the Sign in with Apple package will be very important in future for us. Because of the Apple announcement that every application which has a third-party authentication, such as Google Authentication, should also include the Apple Authentication. This change is mandatory till the 30th of June. Additionally, he announced that the most of the Google developed packages, which are currently in the version 0. something, will be upgraded to the version 100. With these changes, the team would like to communicate that these packages are production ready. To make sure that this upgrade process is as smooth as possible, he gave some recommendation how we should use the version of the packages in our pubspec.yaml. To help with this upgrade, the Flutter team started a collaboration with a UK company named Invertase. You can find all the important links to this topic in the video description below. Adobe XC support for Flutter. Tim Sneed, the product manager for Flutter and Dart, announced last week the Adobe XC support for Flutter. This is a plugin for Adobe XD which will help you to export Flutter code from your design. This plugin is now available as early access for public testing. Using this plugin is straightforward. You can either export Flutter code for a widget or drawing or for your whole project. Please be aware, as an early access project, there are for sure some limitations present. For example, there is no support for responsive layout at the moment. You can read about all limitation in the release note. He's also explaining in his article how you can install this plugin and export Flutter code for your project. In addition, you can find in the info box the video which Max published on Tuesday on our channel and give a complete explanation about his first experience with this plugin. And as always, you can find all the important links to this topic in the video description below. Get started with Flutter and Surface Door. Last week, John Wiest, 
The principal technical architect at Microsoft published an article about how you can start to develop application for your Surface Duo. In this article, you can find at first the link to the instruction how to install and set up the dual screen emulator and after that, he explains step by step how you can set up the dual screen APIs in Flutter. And at the end, you are ready to go to create amazing application on Surface Duo. As always, you can find all the important link in the video description below. The package of the week is Wiredash SDK for Flutter. If you are looking for a solution to get feedback from your user in your application, this plugin can probably help you in an easy and convenient way. To get started, we need to create an account on Wiredash.io. After that, we will add this package in our pubspec.yaml. We head over to the main entry of our application and wrap the root widget in a Wiredash widget. At the end, we should provide the API's credential and the app's navigator key as parameter. And now we're ready to call the wire dash in our application anywhere to get the user's feedback. You can find the link to the wire dash package in the video description below. And last but not least, I would like to introduce you the Flutter pen of the week. Jonathan Wonga created a large shadow animation in Flutter. This is a really cool animation which is completely written in Dart and Flutter. The link to his code pen you can find in the video description below. So have a look and let us know what you think about it. So guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Flutter News. Please let us in the comment below what you think about all these new updates. And if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to give a like to this video. Above me, you can find two videos which you are probably interested in. Have a great day and see you next week.